Good morning. It's uh, Friday morning, and we left our house yesterday uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning, which is pretty early for us. And I drove 500 miles all the way through Georgia, Alabama, and all the way over to the west coast of Mississippi. And right now, we're at a little campground called the Grand Gulf Military Park. And down there, you can see some water. That is actually part of the Mississippi overflow because the Mississippi is a little high right now. So uh, this campground, if it gets really high, that, this place will be flooded. But um, we're under a flood watch right now, but it's, a, it's just a minor flood watch. But you can see the water down there. That right down there is, oops, come on, gimbal. That over, that right there is the overflow of the Mississippi down there. Let's see, right there. I got this new gimbal and it's just acting a little crazy. I'm trying to be steady in my videos, you know. There we go, there's the Mississippi. So let's just zoom back out. And we're gonna go up to the, um, they have a little um, museum here. We're gonna go up there in a little bit and check out their military museum. And from there, we're gonna drive on down to Natchez, Mississippi. There's a place I wanna eat down there. It's called Mammy's Cupboard. And they only take cash or checks. And we've been there twice before and sadly I don't carry cash. Uh, I just carry a credit card. And uh, we haven't been able to eat there yet, two visits before, but this time I am making sure that we have some cash because they have some really wonderful pies there. I mean, their pies are just fabulous. And sandwiches and lunches. And they're only open for lunch. So we're going to be heading out pretty soon. But there's our little camping spot we spent the night at last night. Nice little spot. And there's us and two other campers. Two other RVs. A Class A and uh, I think it's a tag-along camper down there at the other end. Well... I'm going to go inside the van and get ready to drive off. So I'll be adding on to the video soon. Bye. There's an old log cabin. You can actually see it. See how they made it. They match those logs and set them in there. And then they fill in the joints in between with the mud. That's actually got concrete in it nowadays. Let's see. A little story about about the place here, Grand Gulf. Let's see how this gets going. We'll just do a quick zoom. Okay, there we go. So we can pause and read it. Let's just take a look around now we have to go check in because we didn't pay for last night yet so we have to go inside all right so here we are this is the uh, it's hard talking with this mask on so if i sound funny just i apologize but i got this mask on so eh. anyway here's the grand gulf military monument park museum built in 1967. it's on the national register of historic places and I hear Spike in there. There's Spike. Look at this flag. Now that is really cool. Yeah. Hello, sweet boy. Can he have a tree? Oh, yeah. Good pass a sip. Okay. Give me a little peek. All set. This is the Claire Barn Guard. Company K, 12th Regiment. Oh, there's Spike. 
Oh, yours way. Yeah. You can put the tree to way. Way. Oh my God, that's <laughs> that's gonna amaze me. Way. 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 You might not work with strangers, Mom. Way. way. <laughs> watch. Watch. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. Now say free. <laughs> free. Good boy. Aren't you so well behaved? That's right. I'm so impressed. My little girls are a nightmare. So I'm really impressed with good manners. He's oh, adorable. And he, he learned a new trick yesterday. He all oh, there's some of that. All around Georgia. River boats and, and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paddle wheels. Right. The he sat in the crate behind my seat. Robert E. Lee. He was a good boy, huh? Yes, he was. And I the magenta. I know. You know you're supposed to tether them, and we don't do that with ours either. And then I'm on Facebook, and I'm on all these rescue yeah. groups. And, and some I old rifles like or muskets. And their dogs got out of the, car the top one with that back. curved barrel, that's for sure that's shooting around curves. Um, Not really. I know. Look at this hard on mom than it is. There's well, even a double barrel a, shotgun in there. How old is he? He's five. Okay. Some trapdoor spring fields. Oh, is he a feist or a feist? I've actually got one like that second one down that a person gave me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there's an old Spencer rifle in the middle. Oh, my goodness. The, the top one, the remnants of a rifle plowed up at the battlefield here. Puppy is a good day for me. Oh, yeah. Some artillery well, shells. Good boy. My husband does um, vlogs, you know, vlog, whatever. Uh huh. And um, he's probably the most popular person on the thing. A little cult, little cult revolver there. Yeah. You know, people are talking, and I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd rather see your dog than you, honestly. And they just kind of look at me, and I'm like, well, I mean, you know, that's just honest. A little diorama. Honest. Yes. <laughs> Because you're a good boy. War is not a good thing, and you can just even this little depiction of depiction of it. You can see it's it's really a brutal thing. But, uh, some clothing from the period. Ladies' blouses. And An uh, old washing machine right there. <laughs> teletypes. I mean, not teletypes. Typewriters. Oh, that's so way before teletypes. Childhood. Yeah. Little antique doll. Well, he's beautiful. He's a lucky boy. Look at the medical medicine kit, surgical tools. Hmm. I had a, I guess they told, when I was a child, my first dog I ever got was a birthday present. I think I was six years old. Maybe, I think he was a feist. Maybe they were popular back in the 60s. I know the feist, but looked kind of like him. You know, a little bit like him. And so, and I don't know what he was, what the dog guy was, but I named him Chips. He was the same exact color. He looked a lot like that. He Bunch might of arrow points. What this one is, and nobody knew. You know, you Probably some spear points, sure. too, right. the bigger one. Yeah. Well, our neighbor, miniature dog, he got that pointy, Chest bone. Like a moss, a mastodon yeah, sure. jawbone right there. Yeah, it's just interesting, isn't it? You got three eyes. Mastodon teeth and ribs. Another big display of arrow points. Or arrowheads, whatever you like to call them. Uh -huh. It's like Port Gibson rifles. That was, uh, we're right near Port Gibson. It's just a little ways up the river from us. Does he like camping? Are y'all camping? Does he enjoy it? 22 foot. Oh, yeah, you came in the register, didn't you? I forgot. Um, I feel like they're playing this. I'm going to start doing some camping. They're pretty much happy. They're with their people. They're happy. You know? I have one little dog next to ride. But I'm thinking it's just because she associates it with an ironclad the Cairo. We don't have a little travel. An oh, ironclad gosh, Union yeah. gunboat. Oh, I just need to be a lot of time. It sank in the Yazoo River during Civil War. I'm going to start taking it. 
It's been raised and restored and placed in the Vicksburg National Military Park. You have to go up there and see that. That would be pretty neat to see. Hmm. Okay.
Here we are, we're at Mammy's. This is Mammy's Cupboard. It's in Natchez, Mississippi, just south of that Natchez by a couple miles. And um, they have really good sandwiches, and but their specialty, they're famous for their pies. And people like, they come from all over, all over the country come here to eat. They even have people from foreign countries come just to get pie here, it's so good. And uh, there's our waiter. Thank you so much. We we enjoyed your we enjoyed the lunch. Y'all come back and see us when you get a chance. Pre appreciate it. Yeah, I had a piece of um, lemon ice pot or lemon meringue pie, and they even gave me a little piece of chocolate pie, and it was really good. Look, there's American flags flying, waving proud, and there's Mammy. She's seen better days. She's like 80 years old though. She's missing an arm now. She had an arm and she held a tray out in front of her. And uh, she, she's looking a little rough. But hey, she's 80, 80 something years old. She was built in 1940. And she's been many different businesses, all owned by the same family. So she's always been owned by the same family. There's a little uh, painting of her. Looking, she looks really nice in that picture. But, uh, She's been around a long time, pretty famous. We'll just go inside for a second. picture when she used to be a gas station had, a, had gas pumps out front
What did I think? I thought it was great. I like the freshly baked bread and the sandwiches were good. Yeah. Um, I have my hummingbird cake for later. And they have outside dining too. There's a tall guy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Is your dog friendly? Hi. Is he uh, part greyhound? He's so tall. I think he's part. He's part lab and. Hey, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Yeah, part greyhound or greyhound. Hey. Yeah, I'm fostering him right now. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, yeah. We gotta get our little guy out of the van. He's in there with the air conditioner on, but. Hi. Yeah, we heard him barking. Charlie, Charlie hey. was like, wait, what's going on over there? Hey, buddy. Because the spike was barking a bit. Probably when somebody got out next to him or something. <laughs> yeah, we were walking past and so he was like, oh, oh. dog, dog, dog. Dog, mm. yeah. yeah. Wow, so what pie is that one? Uh, this is peanut butter and this is lemon or something. Could wow. you take a little video of your pie uh, real quick? Sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. That, that's good. I'll just... That's good. It's okay. No, just... All right. So that Charlie is some peanut butter chocolate. Ooh, <laughs> he says he wants some of that pie too. So and pie. then some lemon pie over there. Oh boy. All right. Well, thanks for, well, thanks your for sharing your pie with us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. He, he says he got his food there. <laughs>